Welcome. Today, I'm going to be telling you about the best armor, what armor stats do, and how I think you should progress your armor throughout the game. So first, we'll start off with what armor stats do. I'm going to show you a photo from the tutorial inside of the game made by the creators. And I know there's a lot on screen, but you can go ahead and pause it and read it for yourself. Also, if you're having trouble understanding the radiation, just know the higher the number, the better. Now with all that said, they have one thing they didn't explain, and that is durability. So I went ahead and tested a bunch of things out for you. The main function, and the only function of durability right now, is bullet penetration chance. The lower the durability is, the higher chance bullets have to go through. Now I'm going to tell you a couple things I tested. So what I tested was if durability is at 0% or 100%, it doesn't make a difference for these things. Melee damage, radiation, anomaly damage, and those are all the things I tested. On screen, I will put up some health bars, and what this is, is I tested melee attacks. So I took an attack from a ghoul in each of these photos. The only difference is at the top photo, I had 100% durability on my armor. The middle photo, I had 50% durability. And the last photo, I had 0% durability. I did go out of raid and refresh the entire raid for each of these tests, just in case, so I wouldn't get any bugs. So now I'm going to talk about what is the best armor in my opinion. I think the very best armor is the Siva suit. And the reason for this is I'm not constantly annoyed by radiation and anomaly damage, and melee attacks do a significantly less amount of damage. The only problem with this armor is that it breaks pretty quick, so you do have to repair it after every raid. So how you get the Siva suit is you buy it from the doctor, but you have to have high reputation with the doctor to buy it. Now for the next best armor that people think is the best armor, and that is the Kiba armor. This armor, the only thing it has better going for it than the Siva suit is that it's class 6, and that's pretty much it. So how you get the armor, it is a task reward from Barman, and the task, you have to kill Kiba 15 times in the mall. If you want to know how to find Kiba fast, I do have a link in the description to a video on how to farm him, so I will leave that below. So some honorable mentions of what the best armor you should wear is, and some people actually wear these as their last armor, and that is the Crimson and Green Army armor. Both of these are purchased from the faction traders, and they are the last armors you can get from them. So I just told you about every best armor that you can possibly get. Now I'm going to move on to how I progress my armor throughout the game. So, I will keep the starting armor, and I will do barman task until I have enough reputation to purchase the hunter armor. It's only 36,000, so I just grab it. It's very cheap. And then, at this point in the game, I'm doing stuff in makeshift camp. So, if I come across Armin, I will actually kill him and see if I have a chance to get his armor. You can see in the clip, he doesn't always spawn with his armor, but here's what his armor looks like. Out of nine playthroughs, I've only one time went from the hunter armor to the Armin armor, so it is pretty rare. If I do get the Armin armor, I will keep it until I get the Siva suit, which is the last armor I will get. But if I don't find Armin, usually I'll end up progressing to the Fook 2, which is a task reward from the doctor. So just keep doing task until he gives you this one where you have to reach orange level of radiation and you'll have that armor as a task reward. I never buy this armor. I always just get it through the task reward. And then I'll take this armor and I'll keep using it until I get the Siva suit, which if you watch the whole video, you'll know you buy it from the doctor once you reach high enough reputation. So that is everything I know and everything that I could possibly think to add in this video. If you think I missed anything or should have added anything in the video, please do leave it in the comments. My next armor video i make when new armor comes out i may add it in there so please please leave it in the comments and that's it bye